Norm Norlander here. I'd like to show you my version of a dry damsel. This would be the adult configuration of these little beauties. Let's take a look at what we have here, guys. Isn't that neat? It has an extended body. It's a great looking profile. And when these things are laying on the water, I'll tell you the fish will just come up and grab them. Here's how we go about it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create that extended body. I've got a really interesting technique here. We're going to use a sewing needle. Now we'll see we've heated the eye of the needle so we can bend it around without breaking it. You put that in your Norvice, line it up at the top there about like so, so when you rotate it it's pretty well centered. We're going to use some dry fly dubbing. Uh, this is polypropylene, it floats real well, and of course uh, the color is that of an adult damsel. Just a little bit of moisture on the needle. You can take a wee bit of dubbing like this, and it'll catch and spin onto the needle, like so. There we go. And you just run this back and forth so you get the right size, length, shape, whatever, of that adult damsel. So you can twist a little bit, start right there at the tip of the needle. Okay, there we go. Now we've got it. Okay, one of the distinctive features of these uh, damsels is that, other than the bodies being bright blue, is that they also have these black uh, segmentations or on them. How do you do that? Well, I'll show you a really tricky way of doing it. You need to use your black marking pen. This little sharpie job right here. And we'll just start at the back end. Color that up a bit. Okay, now you skip a bit. Another band. Another band. Another band. I actually looked at some photographs and they do indeed have four bands. Okay, how do we keep it together? I'm going to use some water-based head cement. Uh, this is pretty neat stuff. Uh, when it dries, it's pretty tough. Still has a little bit of flexibility to it. So we're going to take this and we're going to saturate this body all the way through with this water-based head cement. Okay, put the cork back in it, Norman. Now, pinch this, pull it off of the needle, and there you go, guys. You got a what's going to be eventually a really great damselfly body. Okay, we're going to set that down. We need to let it dry for a couple hours. In the meantime, I'll replace my needle with a little light wire scud hook. And normally these things are tied on fairly small hooks. Uh, even though it's a pretty good sized bug. I like these little short shanked hooks. Gives the fly a great profile and with this extended body we don't need a big long streamer hook. I'm using some dot black thread here. Pretty straightforward now. Just run your thread in and out of the gape of the hook and come back a ways. Here's a body like the one we just made except that this one is dry. See, it looks pretty much the same. So we're going to tie it in here, about like so. Whoops. There we go. Nice firm wraps and come back, about like so. Got it? Okay, that's not too complicated, but that's about the right, right size. Okay. Next, I'm going to put a wing on this thing, a down wing as they call it, even though this is a dry fly. For this down wing, we're going to use some northern bear. We'll take a little clump. That's what this is right here, guys. Just take a little patch. It's going to be a very sparse wing. We want it to be translucent. That's what this is really good for. So you pull out the under fur like this. We'll come back. Trim it to length, catch it with a soft loop, tie that on nice and firm like. There we go, perfect. Okay, see it's just about the length of the body. Let's secure that with a half inch. Next we're going to post up. Now the material I like to use for that 
is this is craft yarn. You get this down at the Artsy Craftsy store. I think he used it for macrame at one time, but a little piece of that will last a long time. Little section of macrame yarn. The way I do it is I fold the yarn around the shank of the hook. I'll come in like this in the front, in the back, front, back, and then we post up. Okay. There we go. Now I want to form the thorax of the fly. That's the little bulbous part in the front there. So again, we're going to use our dry fly dubbing. Take a little pinch of dubbing like this out of here. And we'll spin this onto our working thread like so. Okay. Tighten it up nicely. We'll start in the back. Come right back to where that wing is tied in. Then come forward. You may need a nice little fat part right here in front. Okay, guys? And I ended up with the thread in front. Now, this will be a parachute hackle. And for the hackle, we're going to use this, this fancy feather here. This is called Coq de Leon. It's a chicken that I guess uh, originally came from Spain, but it's got these nice uh, translucent hackles on it with little speckles in them. Pretty neat stuff. Okay, here's one that's been pulled out. It's about the right size. Now when you're doing these parachute hackles, I think it's really important to prep your hackle properly. This is where we're going to come in and trim off on both sides of the hackle, leaving those little bitty nubbins in there. That way when you tie it in, the thread will lock into those and it doesn't slip. So you come up to the post and then we circle the post and the hackle both end up in front. Now I'm going to grab hold of this hackle. There are pliers here. And I'd like that first turn of hackle on that trimmed off section. And then we're going to come around. And each time you go around, go underneath the preceding turn of hackle. Okay? And usually about four turns. Be about right. Okay? End up on this side. I'll preen up these hackle barbs. Bring the bobbin around. Capture the quill or stem. And tie it on. Okay? Pretty neat. We'll trim out what's left of the quill. There you go. Okay, now we want to finish off the thorax and the head of the fly. Neat trick. I've left a little piece of rubber tubing on my bobbin. And I use that as a hackle guard. And that pushes the hackle out of the way. So now we can come in with a half hitch. That finishes off the thread work. Again, a little bit of dubbing. This will finish off the thorax and it'll give the fly its characteristic shape. Okay, I'm going to tighten that dubbing up pretty good up here in front here. Okay, so we'll come back, blend it in with what we had before. You can see how that's working back there, guys. Okay, there we go. We'll bring our thread forward right up to the eye of the hook. I'll start my head with a half hitch, come back and finish it with a whip finish. And then when we get through, we slide that little hackle guard back onto our bobbin. That's where we leave it, okay? Nothing much left to do except maybe clip our thread off, twist the post, trim it, and there you go, guys. That is an adult damsel that really works. <laughs>